Hello and welcome internet to yet another tutorial. This one is a requested one from Nix Salvoro that basically wants me to show you how to how you can make game objects uh, behave like buttons. So what we're gonna do is to make these two act like buttons when we play and if you click the blue one the square will turn blue and if you Click the red one, the square will, no, cube will turn red. Now you can do this for any effect, you can just put in whatever effect you want. But for this example, we're going to just change the color. Because the main question is how to make these two work as buttons. So let's just get straight into it. We're going to make a color changer script. So let's edit this. Alright, so for this example we don't need this, I always want my code to look like this, so just um, stay with me. Uh, also void, I will start off with void and on mouse over. So basically whenever you hover the mouse over the object that the script is connected to, then you want something to happen, right? But we, while this is happening, we also want to check if you're actually clicking the mouse and just not hovering. So we're gonna go for if input um, get mouse button up. That's the one you want. If you're familiar with the programs when you accidentally click something, like uh, if I were to save now, and I click and I instantly regret this decision and I pull away and then I will let go then it doesn't save so it's get mouse button up it only activates when you let go on top of it so like so so um, that's how we make them to turn into buttons so let's just see this quickly test my column Save, 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 and then you wanna. Yeah, you can see test came up, so that works. Other thing you want is for this to change um, colors on the square. We need them to set a material, so we just call it matte. We also want it to find the object that you want to change the color of which is the cube. Let's do it easy. So we draw or pull the bread over to material and we pull the cube into this game object, which we also want to go for cube. And then you wanna get component renderer and you want to set its material to matte, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, oh, and we also need to do the same for the blue one. Mm -hmm. Let's add the script. Let's add the material and let's add the cube. Oops. Let's see. It should work, I think. Yeah. So yeah, there you have it. That's how you can make game objects behave like buttons in game. And make them do whatever you want. Go nuts. See you later.